Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe Wind Raider Attack. I am super excited to pick this up. I love when they started doing the Masters of the Universe figures in the Mega Constructs Hero line. And I was hoping that the success of those figures would have them branch out to playsets, vehicles, just really expand the Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe line. And it looks like it's actually happening. Uh, very excited to pick up this vehicle. We had a Castle Grayskull announced for later this year. So I'm flying high on Mega Constructs Masters of the Universe. Love the artwork. Very reminiscent of the original packaging, which I think is really cool. Um, just the kind of the whole environment and everything uh, painted. Very cool. Really, really enjoy that. On the side, not too much going on. This side you got a little picture of Skeletor. Nothing down the bottom. Not too much on the top. And then on the back, it just kind of shows off uh, the Wind Raider. It looks like the wings can move. You have the anchor accessory, which is really cool. And then it does come with a He-Man and Skeletor, which I believe are slightly different than the ones that came with the, uh, like the individual packs from the Mega Constructs Hero line. I know for a fact that um, Skeletor's feet were not solid purple. In those re individual releases, he had kind of purple bracers and still his blue foot. Uh, but He-Man might look similar, but this time he comes with an axe instead of a sword and shield. So at least they're changing up the accessories. So I appreciate that because you don't want to just get a complete duplicate of something you already have. Um, with with minifigures, it's not as big a deal as uh, complete action figures. <laughs> but uh, Also, for anyone who's interested, they do have the 5-pack available. I've seen that at Walmart as well. Uh, all five were released individually. Uh, these two were in the first wave of Mega Constructs Heroes. These two were in the second wave, and Faker Solo was in the third. But if you missed any, or if you missed all, go ahead and pick up this five-pack. I've seen that at Walmart. And you can see it's done in the original packaging style, which I think is really cool. Uh, also, check out my review. Wave 4 had Evil Lynn and Man at Arms. And Wave 5 looks to have Skelegrow and or Skelleglow and... Stratos, I believe. So that's going to be really cool as well. So loving these. Going to go ahead. Going to get this out of the box. Build it for you guys. And we'll take a closer look. Alright. So here is the Wind Raider. With He-Man and Skeletor. Uh, first thing I wanted to do. Is take a look at the minifigures. They really, really look great. Here is He-Man. He comes with his axe. And if you're a fan of uh, the original Masters of the Universe toys, you know that this axe is spot on. It looks absolutely fantastic. Here is He-Man. Here is a quick comparison with the like single pack He-Man from the Mega Constructs Heroes. You can see that the facial expression is different. And he does come with different accessories. This one comes with his sword and shield, and this one comes with the axe. But otherwise, the actual figures are very similar. Just a different facial expression and different accessories. But very cool. I appreciate that if they're going to give you another He-Man and you already have this one, you're getting something different. So I appreciate that it's not just a clone of the exact figure. You can see that like the jewels on his belt are also colored slightly differently. So pretty cool. I appreciate that. We put He-Man down for a second. We check out Skeletor. Looking very good. They nailed the color with that kind of powder blue. And the purple looks fantastic. The detailing in the skull looks great. And again, here is a comparison with the single pack Skeletor. He's got the Havoc Staff. This one comes with a sword, which is very, very cool. You can also see that the feet are painted differently. Whereas he's got just kind of like shin bracers, he's got full on boots. I think this one was more like the original toy, but I do kind of like this look too. And also, you can see that the uh, skull faces are painted slightly differently. This one's a little bit more green, whereas this one's a little bit more yellow. But otherwise, they're very similar. Again, slightly different paint and uh, different accessories. But again, I appreciate if they're going to include figures you may already have. At least they are somewhat different. And the figures themselves are great. I mean, you have you know a ball joint in the head. You have shoulders can go in and out as well as move around. Similar joint in the elbow, move that around as well as a hinge. Uh, wrist can rotate. The waist rotates a little bit. There is a little range of motion. There's actually like a pin 
in a track that moves back and forth so it will eventually hit a stopping point and then you have a ball joint in the waist and then you have a 90 degree hinge in the knee this is just a little stand that it comes with you can unpeg that there obviously and then ball joint in the hip and that's it from the knee down is one solid piece and then this is again just a little stand they give you just to give them something to stand on but the figures are great i really i can't applaud the figures enough they really 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 look good and the articulation's fantastic i just i hope mega constructs keeps these going keep going keep going keep going i'll buy as many as you want to make they're really 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 well done i'm just so excited for these and you can see here that there's also a little um thin plastic piece right here so that you can put the accessories through the loop it's a little bit harder to do but you can do it whoops and I can drop he-man but that looks pretty good I like the look of that Skeletor has one as well so you can put his sword through there if you like so I appreciate that I appreciate it's a very minor detail that I really appreciate being able to uh, you know, have the harness have a little loop like that for weapon storage. I think that's really cool. So I'm going to put Skeletor off to the side. Going to remove the axe from the holster here so that we can fit He-Man into the Wind Raider. But first, we'll take a look. Looks absolutely fantastic. Really, really accurate to the original toy. You can move these a little bit. You can move the rudder a little bit as well. You can see that there's some little flame decals in the back here. Not decals, they're not stickers, but I just mean details. It's a little uh, plastic piece that you plug into the back to make it look like it's firing rockets. Uh, in the front here you have this anchor, just like the original toy. You can unhook it, and then it spins out, and then you just wind this back up to retract it, just like the original toy from the 80s, which is really great attention to detail. I absolutely love that. And then you can see here, there's a very tiny little blue square that I assume is supposed to be like a screen. You just take your He-Man, or any figure really, and you can just sit him right in there. He sits down in there very nicely. If you want, you can go ahead and clip his hands into those two pieces. You would just um, rotate the wrist. Let me go ahead and rotate the wrist. And then you can just clip that right on there so he doesn't fall out. But honestly, he really wouldn't fall out even if you don't clip him in. But you certainly can. And he looks great. He looks really good riding in this. I really like it. I wish they would do more vehicles. Like I said, I want them to continue. We know that they're doing a Castle Grayskull, which I'm very excited about. I just hope they do more, more characters, more vehicles. Uh, I really hope they continue the line. I hope it's selling well. I really hope that they continue because I am such a big fan of these. I've been a fan of Masters of the Universe, you know, since I was a kid. I've always liked it. And there just really hasn't been a ton of merchandise out there. And when they started doing these, I was so excited. I bought the He-Man and the Skeletor right away. And I've, every time they make more, I'm right there to get them. They're sometimes hard to find. But I'm a huge fan of these. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, you know, if there's anything you're excited for, or any figures that you wish they would do. So far, we know Stratos and I think it's Skellig Glow are coming in the fifth wave of uh, Mega Constructs Heroes. And then we know about the giant Castle Grayskull playset that's supposed to be happening, I think, this summer. Or maybe third quarter, I'm not quite sure. So that's what we know about. I'm hoping they do some more of these vehicle sets. This whole set was 20 bucks. I found it at Walmart. I think it's a great price for what you get. Two great figures and a really good vehicle with great features. I can't recommend it enough. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.